Easter services aren't meant to be somber memorials, but this one was. Ansan is a town with little hope and too many missing children. How do grandparents celebrate with teenagers gone? Some of those missing on board the ferry were regulars at churches here. Their Sunday school teacher read a letter to them. Beloved student, she said, please hang on a little longer. I can't let you go. Only parents were allowed inside the school today, but on the street outside, students from other high schools in Seoul said prayers. Others left flowers and Easter eggs. The messages read, stay alive, please hold on. But this is now, in all but name, a community in mourning. A third of the students who are on board the ferry came from this little community just behind the school. Local residents say this is a community traumatised and that every building in this district had two or three children missing. In Jindo, hope is giving way to anger. Families on a protest march to ask the president for help were stopped before they'd reached the mainland as another boat ferried bodies to the shore. Our children are in the water. I'm just asking you to get their bodies back before they decay, but they're just leaving them there. New evidence emerged today of the ferry's final moments, a conversation with South Korea's shipping traffic control. If this ferry evacuates, will the passengers be rescued immediately, asked the crew. The controller replies that the captain must make that decision and that patrol boats are 10 minutes away. In the South Korean capital, Seoul, tonight, a candlelit vigil, a sharing of grief and anger too. There'll be many more nights like this here now and a darkness that no candle can dispel. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Ansan, South Korea.